Ishita ma'am, uh, we are formally, you know, introducing you to the audience, all the participants. So all participants, uh, Ishita ma'am uh, works as a resource person in CBSC. She has a vast teaching experience of uh, more than 20 years. And then uh, she has worked uh, for training of teachers in Delhi, outside Delhi, and she has traveled with the CBSE team in different parts of our country. And uh, she has uh, contributed in some of the manuals which have been developed by CBSE. Also, she is fond of working on artwork done by various painters. So if you hear from her, she would be talking about geometrical, the presence of geometry in different kinds of uh, paintings. So I will be writing things about her in the chat box. So I will not waste much of time and Ishita ma'am can now start. Ishita ma'am, uh, you are, you can start this session. Let me write a message for her. Thank you, Rashmi, ma'am. So I will start off with today's uh, presentation. Please let me know in the chat box if the presentation is visible to all of you. Okay, thank you. This is going to be a kind of one-sided affair on the audio business, but uh, definitely we will be discussing and I hope there's going to be a lot of discussion and participation over the chat box. So today, as you know, it is the day for discussing case studies of various kinds. So what I've been going through certain case studies, you know, books and uh, teachers, which they have uh, come across, you know, they have uh, made questions. So I thought, let me do some questions, you know, art integration and all these, it's the flavor of the season, so to say, that why not make some case study questions on these? And let me tell you, you teachers, all of you, and also which includes me, uh, are the guinea pigs here. You are the first ones that I'm going to try it on. So I really respect and value your judgment. So please feel free to tell me uh, whether this works, whether it was interesting or not, because accordingly, I'll go further ahead uh, if I need to. OK, so we have geometry case studies. And we start off with the first question. First, let me tell you what you see in front of you is a painting, which I picked up from the net. So, you know, I've been when I was doing writing the manual on art integration, it's somehow not that I even understand or understood modern painting. But looking for that, I fell into this. So, I thought, you know, I think I was attracted by the colors mainly. Uske baat mujhe bahut kuch dikhne laga isme. So let's see, isme mujhe kya dikhne ko mila and aap logo ko kya wo dikh raha hai, kya se ban sakta hai. All right. So here's the question I have prepared. And this is something, you know, you don't have to follow this. You can make your own question. Joby, yes, I can already see answers coming in parallelogram, right triangle, yeah. So have a look at the question that I have made that Sana has made a coaster. And the side is given, it's a square coaster that is also given 10 by 10. Uh, I didn't write the unit like it can be centimeters, so you can take 10 unit into 10 units. So her classmates were really impressed and wanted to create similar ones. They wanted to know the various measurements of the pieces. 
So she makes an interesting mathematical game out of it. The following are the clues she gives. So now I would like, you know, discussion. So the first question is, if AP and CQ are equal, what is the shape of APCQ? No, absolutely. Parallelogram. Parallelogram. Yes, great. But you need to justify your answer. It's a parallelogram, I agree. Perfect, correct answer. How would you justify it? Ma'am, uh, since it is a square, it's all the time. Uh, what I am also going to do, I am going to request certain people who I can see on my screen. I may request you to unmute your mic. And um, yes, uh, are both pairs of opposite sides equal, Minu, ma'am? We know about one side. Opposite sides are equal yes, and parallel. Yes, Very yes, good. Yes, okay. Yes. So opposite sides, which in case means AP and CQ are equal as well as parallel being opposite sides of a square. Therefore, it is a parallelogram. First question done. Now, if AP is equal to 6 centimeters, what would be the area of the black portion? AP is 6. What is the area of the black portion? Lovely, 60 centimeters square. Okay, now look at this. Area of, are the areas of triangle ABQ and uh, CBP equal? Justify your answer. You need to justify Yes. So may I request somebody, I will call out the name. Uh, I can see only certain names. Okay. Uh, Pooja Jain, ma'am, would you like to unmute yourself and answer why should these two triangles be congruent? Yes, ma'am. Equal two, in area. Yes, ma'am. These two triangles. Am I audible, ma'am? Am I audible? Okay, my question now is, how is it congruent? We Am can I audible, ma'am? Vikas, sir, correct. Mm -hmm. Congruent triangles have equal area. Yes, so I want you to explain to me that how are they congruent? You are audible, Pooja. RHS. All right, right angle, this, and all right, this is a parallelogram. Fine, yeah. fantastic. Correct. Now I come to the last part of the question. If MQ is equal to NP, is AMCN a square? Aapko ye bata rahe ki MQ is equal to NP. So this part, your AMCN, is it a square? Okay, I get the first answer, which is no. You need to justify your answer. Why is it not a square? AMCN is a rectangle. Are you sure about that? It's a rhombus. I'm not sure about that also. So what can be the reason that this is not a square nor a rectangle? Let me give you a hint. Look at this triangle ADM. Look at this angle and look at this angle. Yes, I agree with you, Anamita, ma'am. Triangle angle AMQ is not equal to 90 degrees. So what kind, I mean, would it be more than 90 degrees? And if so, what is the reason? It's a parallelogram, yes. That's true, this answer, parallelogram is correct. All angles are not 90 degree, perfect. Here, the reason is, if you look at this triangle ADM, which is a right angle triangle, this being a square, 
this happens to be the exterior angle yes anamita roy ma'am correct very correct this is the exterior angle for this triangle so 90 plus this therefore this angle is greater than 90 hence amcn cannot be a square so this was our first question now my question to you is do you think this kind of question can work with students can it be done do you think students will enjoy it do you think the difficulty level is too high because you know case studies is something beach may long back in 2012 a psa tha, and uh, then it stopped now again we are going into case studies so in case studies main thing as you would have heard from anita ma'am and rashmi ma'am comprehension part is very important more than calculation it is the critical analysis that the child understands and the conceptual thing that okay i can immediately say that this is not 90 degree but why is it not 90 degree that justification is important okay so uh, ready to carry on going on to the next question all right okay so let's go on to the next question all right so here is the legend a blue planet school you know uh, exhibition on living beings all right so you can read it and here comes up the picture first tell me do you find the pictures cute do you think if you ask your students to make it, will they have fun? Just make whether drawing or even paper cutting. That is up to you, whatever convenient to the teachers and the students. Will they have fun making these kind of shapes? Okay, yeah, I see. Uh, yes, answers out here. All right. Now, let's look at this. So, they created various creatures of animal kingdom. Uh, so class 10 got circles and parts of circles. So like for let's take this example of the tortoise. What all things do you see here of circles? Yeah, sectors. What are these specifically in this green, the tortoise? Semicircle, yes. And these? Quadrant. Perfect. Okay, so we have circle and quadrants and all these kind of things. So now... Each student got circular papers. It's not one paper, few papers, but the radius is seven centimeter to create their shapes. Now the question comes, the first figure was created by Kabir. What are the shapes he has used? You've already told me semicircle and quadrants. How much paper did Kabir use for the figure? My question to you as teachers is, is this greater than a circle? This area, yes, yes, because we have a semicircle and three quadrants, correct? 1.25, thank you, Aarti ma'am. All right, so if we are given that what is the uh, area of the paper, because the radius is given, this is easy to find, five quadrants, perfect, yeah, okay. Second one. Figure 2 was made by Shubham. What is the circumference of his figure? So here, what do you think the circumference would be? It is a circle. Absolutely correct. It is the circle. Figure 3 was made by Anna. How much paper was used by Anna? Uh, to create her figure and then out of the three the question is which figure has the smallest circumference how much is this three quadrants perfect okay so again tell me doable question interesting for kids can this question be used as a case study for your uh, mensuration areas of circles question? 
yeah and let me tell you you can just i mean there are i think i personally have seen 15 or 20 shapes very cute shapes which are based on circles and quadrants uh you know available of various kinds of animals and all these things which you can find you can make your own thing whatever and they can be made you know interesting questions can be made out of them moving on okay so now arsu takes the permission to make a rangoli for because they're having an exhibition entrance and so she makes a pretty complex design where she uses semicircles then we have you know a square you can see out here so let's just see what exactly has she done i'll give you a little bit uh, 5 seconds to just look at the design she has made now let me give you the details of this she starts with first she has this is what she has in mind this whole design so she first starts with square all right and the square is you know the smallest innermost thing she starts with the smallest one 144 square inch and i have deliberately used inch out here that though i know we do metrics and you know the uh, universal uh, uh, system the international system i just thought because in our everyday life we still do use things like inch feet so why not i mean if i just use inch why not get our students just it's it's not very different it's not ki a centimeter ke jage inch a gaya. i'm sorry i don't know how to do it so i put this deliberately out here but of course as teachers you can change it any way uh, as you please so now this is what is given to you that is this area of this square is 144 square inch now let's see what all things are happening if side of each square is double the side of previous square so we are talking about this square and this square each square is the double of the previous square can you calculate the area of the final figure but the final figure banega ja ke heart is that possible you have been given the side of this square or rather i would say you've been given the area of this square is area se aap kya karenge aapka side nikal jayega side hmm. nikal jayega to aapka ye semicircle ka diameter you know yeah. all right or in fact you don't even have to go for this now you can just say okay this is double and double is fact aapko zarurat nahi padegi but for the next questions each pair of three pairs of semicircles see there are three pairs of semicircles 12 root 2 1 2 and 3 all right they yeah. have to be painted green yellow and blue respectively different colors green yellow blue all right how much area will each color cover doable from the side you are going to get your diameter yes all right yeah i can see the yes is coming up so these can be found arsu has already colored the first square red so aapke okay. kya kya nikal gaye total area nikal gaye semicircle ke uh, colors we nickel area nickel and if you look at it actually it is circle this semicircle plus this semicircle if the child is smart alag -alag di ka, circle nikal ka, right okay. now last part of the question is this is red she wants to whatever left over now that we have to be careful what is left over is me left over hai this part hai na? so this Square two, square one is the red one. Square two made this part, and square three is this part, which have to be painted. This is orange and this is black. How much would be? We... 
I hope you are taking screen grabs of this because you can do it as a, you know, homework. You can use it if you wish to, whatever, you know, no problems, but uh, try them because you never know. Ki maybe I've given some wrong information. That's very much possible, though I hope not. But you can, you know, always check what kind of, in fact, you know, it might go into too much of calculation because of pi and all those things. So either it can be left in pi or maybe you can give that uh, rounded off to two points or uh, one decimal point as you wish, you know, whatever is comfortable for your students. So again, so this was the second question, doable, yes or no? Deepthi ma'am says, yes. What about the others? Would you like to simplify it for st uh, students? Because that can also be done. All right. And the best part is, if you are doing this question or similar kind of question, after them, ask them to do, you know, color it and ask them to use their own choice of colors. All right. I mean, it's not necessary to put green, yellow, blue. Agar wo karna chai, that's also fine. And if they have these kind of things in their notebooks or they have their own choice of colors, I mean, it, I mean, nowadays with all our portfolio and books and all that, I think this kind of question will help you and help the students in displaying those kind of activities also. All right. Moving on to the third question. One second. Just give me a minute. Mm. All right. So here's this figure given to you. How do you find out the total painted area? How can the children construct it? If suppose we want to give this as construction. Obviously it has. Yes, Nitika ma'am, I understand that. Yeah. So during, as you would have seen, the questions are very simple. So my questions are meant for practice. I have not looked at these questions when I made them as that they will be given for exam. It is because I think in every school, what we do is during when we teach them, we drill them for tougher questions so that the questions which come in the examinations seem comparatively easier. So the questions which I've discussed till now, you can always, you know, kind of simplify them, have lesser number of questions. Obviously, questions of uh, drawing does not occur there. That is, they will not have the time for it. But these are for class discussions for their drill and practice, which I'm discussing with you now here. So it is very obvious that this is to do with circular things. But if I were to give this figure and ask a child to construct this figure, what happens in that case? Would somebody like to try or should I go on? Ki answer they do. Aha, okay, fine. So by drawing semicircles, perfect answer. So here you can have a look. Now that you see it, it's not very tough, is it? Okay, it's only when this portion was rubbed off and they got colored, this was done like. Okay, Ab aapne color kar diye. so now if the diameter is given, which is up to you, all right, aap diameter bata dijiye. or you know, my idea would be because it is very nice when children own their uh, knowledge, own them, let them take their own diameter. Aap unko dikha dijiye, ye figure hai. 
let them choose their own diameters for these small circles, semicircles, and make it. And for that, they can find out the total area painted. In fact, they can even let me just quickly go back to this. If they want, they can find out for each color also. Let them make their own question. You know, you can ask them to make their own question, which, of course, they will solve and give you. And then in class, you can distribute it, exchanging amongst each other and see, you know, which question children found interesting. So basically, it would be the question made by children, solved by children, and you are there uh, kind of as the referee. All right. So this is something... Uh, do you think they can make their own question? Somebody might, might ask that, okay, what is the sum of the yellow and the red portion? Yes, brainstorming. They can. It can be done group-wise. In fact, then you can also ask them based on this that, okay, now I gave you one design. Why don't you come up with your own design? Okay, because you know we have mandala and all these things in our course now in art integration. Yeah, exactly, Rashmi, ma'am. Children can create their own design and create question on it. It doesn't have to be some major, you know, Olympiad type question, even simple question. To make, create, as teachers, we all know, even to create a simple question, you have to have some conceptual knowledge because you also have to know the answer to the question you are asking. So again, my question, which I've been constantly asking, doable or not? Because you see, there is no point in wasting your time by discussing things which are not doable or practical. You are all very busy working under a lot of load, lot of new things coming in. Usme kuch impractical baate karne se aapke Time ka barbaat karne ka koi matlab nahi hota. So only if you think that ha ye cheeze ho sakte hai class mein, then only there is a point of discussing these kind of things. Right? Okay. Thank you, Nilo ma'am. That gives me a lot of, you know, encouragement also that then I can, you know, look for these kind of questions further and maybe, you know, share it with you or, or people Share it with Rashmi, ma'am, and all that. So, you know, maza aata hai ye kardi mein. This kind of encouragement when you give. All right, moving on to the next question. And which is about my, uh, I could say, favorite painter. And I would like to talk about him a little bit with you. First, I would like you to look at the painting. It is called the Panchatattva. The Panchatattva, as we know about, is, you know, earth, water, fire, air, and ether. You know, the Panchabhutvatva bolte hai, Panchatattva, in various names it is called in Hindi and Sanskrit, Bengali. Uh. So, this painting was done by Sayyid Haider Raza. Okay, I've given very little about him out here that one of the most prominent groundbreaking Indian painters. In 1970, Raza began to paint ge purely geometric forms, particularly the circle and the dot, which he likened to the idea of the Bindu. I would request you all that you write, you just Google search Raza Bindu series. Ma'am, aapko, I mean, as maths, maza aajayega aapko. And let me tell you why I wanted to talk about Raza with all of you uh, people. Because his this whole thing started in elementary school. He was a hyperactive child. When he was in uh, primary school, I mean, something like class one or two in, uh, I think, the kindergarten to nahi hote te, but jobi. So he was hyperactive. So his elementary teachers, uh, primary teacher, drew a dot on the blackboard and said, you focus on that. And this is something he, you know, it is there in his biography, that that concentrating on that bindu focused him. And that's where, you know, you can have, I mean, he came up with this. He also has bindu series, tribhuj series. Then there is concentric circles, which he calls kundalini. This massive amount of work there, which I think 
you will not only enjoy for the geometrical things which are but even the play of colors so all this thing was here now i picked up this painting so in this painting like of course there are two squares which you can need to uh, explain to your students i'm talking about the inner so let's take the outer as the frame so this inner square if i give you the side of this square then can you find out what percent of the area is colored black Yes. So how are we going to go about it? The side becomes the diameter of the circle. All right. And it is evident or this you can put in that all these tattvas, they are equal. All right. So therefore, all these circles are equal, which means the diameter of each circular tattva is one fifth of the main diameter. Now comes how about this black portion a black portion may kya kya nikal jayenge how will i find out this black portion yes arti ma'am so only Four small circle ke area we will have to subtract. Yes. Yeah. So area of the big circle and from there we are going to subtract the area of the four smaller circles and that is going to give us the area of this. If you want to, you know, further take the whole picture into account, do you think we can also part out these quadrants? We can bring these questions, parts into the question. I would like some ideas from you. Many iske baare mein nahi socha, so I'm asking you. Or would that make it very complicated? Like if I talk about this black quadrant area. If I ask a child, what is going to be the area of the black portion here? Do you think that would be very complicated? Because you see, ye to rahega half. These two semicircles is actually a circle, one circle. Yes, Deepthi ma'am, it can be done, but my question is, say, for a class 9th or 10th, class 10th student, I mean, I would never give it for exam, but do you think in class it can be done? Anitika ma'am, not for exam. Not for exam, maybe as, you know, a weekend homework or any such thing where they can make. So let me take you to the next question, which I totally, you know, uh, looked at this so in hindi these are the five tattvas all right mitti pani agni vayu and shunya now <clears throat> so this is the first one that impressed with the rasa painting surya created his own interpretation of panchatattva okay do these panchatattvas have same that area representation of the Raza painting? I'll tell you what I mean to say. Like out here, you see the panchatattvas are here. Ab idhar bhi part circle the Raza ke painting may be part small circles the. The diameter, like if the diameter of both the circles are same, are these the are the areas of panchatattva equal? to what were the areas of Raza's painting? Can we find a proportion? Ritu ma'am says no. Yes, very correct, it is no. So this is more or less. These circles have more area or less area, more area, right? So do you think a question can be given because there it is one fifth, here it would be one third, correct? 
so what is the proportion or something because you know these kind of questions are very simple questions which you know those are the case studies are one marker we can put similar type of question all right so this was one question where the area representation of course you can always ask them to find out what you know are the areas in this case whatever comes to your mind i'm just giving you some shapes to play around with all right and the next one slightly more complicated okay so aisha also had a different interpretation all right now she said she did draw five circles okay but her representation usne aise kiya vayu mitti bachche ka dimag hai so i'm just saying her thing was ki vayu mitti pani sab mein mila hai all right so vayu and circles my mitti and pani there is shunya which means space there's a difference you know sometimes children might ask you what especially when you do it in english uh, space that is your air and space so space is all around us whereas air is something which is uh, with earth atmosphere that is thing so the space is shunya shunya is there in the galaxy also all right so therefore shunya is all around to shunya vayu mein agni khatam ho jata hai so shunya pani you know agni pani har jagah rehta hai some this thing so here now what would be the areas what would be the area of mitti pani agni shunya and vayu if the representation is this डोंट गो बाई माई एक्सप्लेनेशन वो तो मैं ऐसे ही टू बी ऑनेस्ट गप्पे बना रही थी राइट सो दैट बट माई क्वेश्चन आउट हियर इज हाउ वुड यू फाइंड आउट दिस वेरी सिंपल दीज आर वन थर्ड्स एंड दीज आर टू थर्ड्स डूएबल क्वेश्चन कैन यू मेक दीज काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू थिंक यू कैन मेक Mitti diameter one third perfect. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me give you some. Can you? Because next three is where I am going to be quiet, and I would like you know you people to you know make the question. So either thoda sa discuss kar lete hai when I. give you work to do so out here what all other ways can we fit in more circles i mean line mein to ho jayega you know wo aap chote karte jao diameter ko eight tukre kar do seven tukre kar do that ho jayega but suppose out here four all right can we make it six how would we construct this if anybody would like to unmute yourself you can do it one by one any suggestions maan lijiye mujhe 10 kar de hain or let me say 9 but i don't want them in a straight line what can i do oh yes correct rashmi <laughs> yes i will not be able to hear you my mistake yeah you can put it in the chat box okay nine ka maine soch liya main batati hu what i would do is i would draw two lines criss crossing panch idhar panch idhar so i mean not panch so it will be fifth one will be in the middle uh, two 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 so two 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 four and eight and one nine Do you think that kind of a question can be given to students for construction? Like when we do constructions, and maybe you know we could have uh, add tangents to it also. Did you understand how I made the nine circles? It was very much like the Raza painting. Okay, 
So this, or rather, uh, I would say this painting, out there, all I did was, you know, instead of one, another one here, another one here, another one here, another one here, eight, and this is nine. Okay? So I could do it that way. Of course, it can be done the Raza way where you divide the diameter into nine parts and, you know, draw nine circles. Any other suggestions from anybody? Five by five grid? The one which I talked about, Purnima, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Five by five? And from the center of each circle and from the uh, okay. intersecting point and the now vertical let's and horizontal. Now let's go on to the next question, which is, of course, totally for you. So now you have to be ready with your pen, pencil, and think about it. Okay? Uh, and uh, as Rashmi very correctly uh, pointed out, that since I can't hear you, she anticipates so well, please write in the chat box. Yeah, you can use short form and all that, not a problem at all. Uh, no need to write essays. So I come up with the first question. I'll keep on adding clues to you, some points or something. Abhi, first I've given you this picture. So you can just note down aapke dimag mein kya aara hai, kya ban sakta hai. And if you have some question in mind, you can put it in the chat box also. Then I will add something to it. Okay. No, that's fine, uh, Anamita ma'am. Uh, it's a rhombus, but I'm asking about what kind of question would you like to create? Ha, Purnima ma'am. That's exactly what I meant. Yes. That five by I I above it's also meaning that vertically, horizontally, and then we uh, point those things. Yes, thank you. All right, yeah, I can see the shapes coming up, trapezium area and area of the red portion. Okay, let's see. Area of each color ke liye, we have to give them dimensions, right? Okay. Are the triangles, this is one question which I had thought about. Yes, are the areas out here, are they congruent triangles? All right. Okay. So, um, yeah, this is what I'm just giving you the picture. So, you have to add on what information you wish to give. All right. So, Bharti ma'am says we can ask about congruence of triangle. All right, okay. What if we just give them one hint? We tell them that uh, we tell them that this portion, the white portion is a rhombus. If we say that P, Q, R, and S. Uh, is a rectangle and this is a rhombus. What can we say about these figures? If this is a rhombus, all these four sides are equal. You can put in your own information. I'm just giving you the figure. If you want, you can give these two also a name. It is up to you whether you wish to call them the midpoints of these, you know, uh, if you extend this, that these come from the midpoint, this line joining them is, you know, passes through the midpoint. So that is up to you. I'm just giving you this figure. A and B can the midpoints of P, Q and R is. Okay, fine. Yes, done. So, uh, Bagandi, is it sir? I'm sorry, I'm not being able to make out, but can you create a question? Write the names of the parallel line pairs, but for that also we have to give them some idea. When we make a question, 
All right, PM is equal to one third of PS. All right, done. PM is equal to one third. Uh, so therefore, what kind of question would you like to give it? I want you people take a little bit of time. Form a question. ये आपके पास फिगर दिया हुआ है वेरेवर यू फील कि ओके दिस आई एम गोइंग टू कॉल इट आई माइट वॉन्ट टू कॉल पी एम वन फोर्थ ऑफ पी एस आपकी मर्जी आप जो भी आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू समाइम कि आप एक एक क्वेश्चन बनाइए छोटा यू नो के स्टडी क्वेश्चन विच इज नॉट की बहुत क्रिटिकल नंबर ऑफ पॉलीगॉन्स ऑफ थ्री साइड फोर साइड एंड फाइव साइड ओके फाइन दैट कैन बी अ क्वेश्चन uh do we have any five sided polygons here 1 2 3 4 i see 3 and 4 ha huh, so uh you have to give them some hint okay now if i say that, what have we given the what information have i given you i have given you the information that pqrs is a rectangle i have given you the information that somebody else added this that a and b are the midpoints now to prove that these two triangles are congruent what information do you need to give the midpoint hai to ye to equal nikal aayega rectangle hai to ye 90 degree 90 degree aa jayega but we are still waiting for something what else can we bring in can we talk about that uh, pm is equal to nr or we can say pm is say one third or one fourth of ns okay and qn is three fourth of qr yes uh, rashmi i just uh, wanted to know from you that uh, the way i mean they are writing question can they have a google sheet or something where they can i can send you these uh, slides and they can put in their question and send it to you is that possible because that way they will also uh, give some uh, get some time and think about what kind of questions can be made over this rather than at this point of time like you know it may we are just having a discussion but to have a nice rounded question paper maybe i mean not a question paper a question or two question max they can always you know uh, do it after giving it a thought so a very similar kind of and just imagine you know these are all paintings and people are buying if not for lakhs they of course let me tell you the rasa painting which you saw the lithograph of it was sold for 75 lakhs okay so i don't know these are unknown painters i do not know who they are otherwise i would have given them credit but sometimes i mean you know but you will find it in various foyers of hotels hot even gharo mein bade bade jage these kind of paintings there so you know you can see how at this kind of thing For me, who doesn't know how to even draw a cat, they feel like they are. Oh, wow! This is what we can do. I find it very, very motivating and encouraging. That okay, we will become artists. So, all right. Now, this question where I have not given anything. All right. Is pe aap kuch question bataiye mujhe. देखते ही एकदम सामने एरिया सिमिलैरिटी ऑफ ट्रायंगल कोई थ्योरम याद आ रहा है बीपीटी परफेक्ट यस ओके सपोज इफ आई से दैट दिस इज द मिड पॉइंट आई मीन दिस लाइन जॉइंस द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ दीज टू साइड्स दिस इज अ स्क्वायर फ्रेम अगेन and this is the midpoint do you think we can talk about say the equality of the area of these two trapeziums yeah 
Rajmitra ma'am, that's a wonderful thing. Trapeziums are also congruent. How do we show it? Because you see, we can't say because the areas are congruent, therefore trapeziums are congruent, it doesn't work. Congruent figures have equal areas, but not necessarily that equal areas would have congruent um, figures. So therefore, how can, because we don't teach congruence of trapeziums, how do you think we can show this? What kind of elements think of construction of quadrilaterals? You know, it will come from there. This can be a hot question because, as I said, we never dis we don't discuss about congruence of quadrilaterals as such. But when we talk about in class eight construction of quadrilaterals, so we talk about five elements there. So if those things are equal, you get the same thing. Yeah, angles and sides, but there is again a certain uh, rule to that. Which angles and which sides, ratios of sides, perfect. So see, these are the kind of things which we teachers, I mean, I'm this discussion, what we are having right now are between teachers. This is not meant for students. I mean, yes, if you want, you can take the discussion to students. But if you think that it might be beyond your average child or this, but it is very necessary as teachers, we have a discussion on all those things because then we know what are the kind of questions and things we can create. Because one thing we have to know right from the beginning that to make case study questions, we have to be creative. You know, you have to build a kind of legend. You have to add information to it. You have to add. It's not just key, solve this. It has to be, you know, according to a certain situation. Like Rashmi Maham has spoken to you about, you know, the situational thing. So you have to create a situation. Otherwise, it will be the same 50 questions going around. Either be here, us book may be here, his book may. So here we are talking about how do we go about creating our own case study question. And with that, I'm going to come to my last question, which is also your homework. So these are the three things which Rashmi will share with you for you to create your questions. So the last one coming up, and uh, this is my here. So this was the question which I have already discussed with you. So the last one coming up is. I'm sure maybe when the painter painted this, probably did not think of all the theorems that I am thinking of. But uh, is this a tangram? No, this is not a tangram because the sides are not of a tangram. Midpoint theorem, okay, fine. Yes, that is one theorem. It depicts. Pythagoras theorem, yes, if you look at it and if we considered this to be the altitude, so you know that the vertex, the altitude drawn from the vertex of the right angle to the hypotenuse, okay, divides it into two triangles, uh, all the three triangles which are similar, all right, so this, this, this in that case would become similar triangles. Anything from here? These three triangles which are made here, do you find anything out here? How about if we say that this is equal to this is equal to this. Any result can we get from here? If this is equal to this, what can we say about the area of this blue triangle and the white triangle? Equal area, yes, it is already there. Triangle on equal basis. So now if these three bases are equal, what can median theorem? Yes, Sini ma'am. And if these three bases are equal, then what can we say about the area of this triangle? Of these triangles. 
the areas are equal and they are one third of this triangle. Agar ye one third of this triangle hai, what is their area in relation to the whole square? Yes. Thank you, Ritu, ma'am. So with that, I mean, these are your homework. All right, the three questions. The Let me just quickly show you these two. All right, Rashmi, ma'am, will be sharing these with you. And this one. All right, just make up your, let your imaginations roam free. You can put dimensions to it. You can put anything. Give your own, uh, let me call it chat masala and create questions uh, with it. And please share it with Rashmi and me. I hope that all I can say that it's been wonderful, uh, you know, discussing with you and you gave a lot of encouragement. So for that, of course, a huge big thank you. And again, my last question, should I continue looking for these kind of questions? Yeah, kaam ke nahi hai. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for all your encouragement. As I have said right in the beginning, you are my guinea pigs, but my guinea pigs have been so good. I would like to, you know, uh, wish you all the best. Look for some questions, share it with all of us. We are all in the learning process. And uh, Rashmi, ma'am, uh, thank you so much for inviting me out here and being with this crowd stay thank safe you. stay happy most of all please stay healthy not only is it important for you your family also for all the students who are looking up to you thank you thank so you much so all thank the very best for sparing your my email id is there if anybody <laughs> wants to connect for anything you are most welcome thank you so much bye bye Bye, all of you. Take care. Bye, Rashmi. <laughs> nice to see smiling faces. Ta-ta.